another day a really strange shift of days good morning mario and good morning switch fans hope you're all doing it fantastic out there nintendo making a very weird move that i can't quite figure out the reason for but i want to talk to you all about it plus we've got more release dates and another big third party game rumored to be coming to nintendo switch 2 so what's going on everybody it's zach from switch force hope you had a great weekend hope you're ready to kick this week off and get going i don't know i feel like an indie world could be right around the corner we're already more than midway through march which is crazy the year is passing so quickly and we're waiting to see what nintendo does and i think an indie world is probably next up wouldn't be surprised to hear about that later this week also i'm going to my first star wars unlimited tournament tonight wish me luck i'll report back and let you know how it goes and i'll also let you know about animal well now releasing on may the 9th Animal Well is a cool indie title coming to Switch, and it's notable because, well, it looks cool, but also because it's being promoted by Video Game Donkey. If you don't know Video Game Donkey, he is a really just legendary YouTuber. Um, I've watched him for years and years and years and years, and I think his content is very good. I think his humor is very unique, but very spot on. And Animal Well is a game that his big mode publishing label is helping to bring into existence. I think it's so cool that a YouTuber is helping to publish and pick indie titles, especially ones releasing on Switch. So three cheers for big mode, three cheers for Animal Well. It is a 2D platformer about a little creature going through an animal world, upgrading, evolving, and I don't know, eventually maybe, maybe becoming an animal himself, taking over the whole ecosystem, or maybe just actually coming out of the cartridge slot of your Switch. That would be next level game design. Now, speaking of next level game design, Persona 6 is a much anticipated title. There's these franchises that just sort of take years and years and years, and Persona is one of them. Persona 5 came out, then Royal came out, then it came out on new platforms, but it has been ages since Persona 5 actually came out. I was like back in my 20s, which feels like forever ago. Anyhow, Persona 6 is rumored to be coming out soon, and now the big Atlas leaker over on Twitter says that it's coming to Switch. This is no surprise because we've heard many Atlas titles rumored for Switch 2, including the recently released Persona 3 Reload games and Metaphor Refantasio, and now Persona 6. Now, I think this is actually really awesome news because it would indicate, again, third-party support going sky-high for Switch 2 right from the jump. If we're able to get big games like Metaphor Refantasio and Persona 6 right off the bat on a Nintendo console, A, that's awesome, but B, the same date and these are going to be next-gen games, that's very, very, very good. It bodes very well. Now, I will let you know that, like, obviously these are rumors and so TBD, but this Atlas Leaker has been very spot-on, very accurate, very reliable, and I also want to point out that Nintendo most likely will start off with more Japanese third-party support than European or American third-party support. What I mean by that is the Squares, the Atlases, the Segas, the Bandai Namcos, they will probably be like, dude, we have seen what the Switch can do, we're not falling behind on supporting this yet again. And I bet Ubisoft, Activision Blizzard, aka Microsoft, maybe they'll be a little slower. Now maybe they won't, and that would be great and I will wait to see if I hear about any big titles from more Western publishers, because then I think that just takes the cake. Then I think like the Switch 2 is going to be so insanely successful. The big missing from Switch 1, obviously, is day and date third-party titles that you can play elsewhere, but if you could play them on Switch 2, 2-2, two, two, like Switch 2 also, that Please excuse the very awkward cut. I just dumped my water glass all over and I dumped on the keyboard and it stopped the recording. I was trying to say that I think Japanese Eastern developers and publishers are gonna be on board from the jump. I hope that Western publishers are as well, but most of the titles that we've heard rumored are all you know big titles from the Atlases, the Segas, places like that, Squares. So it'll be interesting to see if we hear about something like Oh, you know, the new Indiana Jones game coming to Switch. Or when we hear more rumors about Call of Duty coming to Switch 2. Then we can say like, okay, this is really making a humongous step up forward compared to the Switch 1, which started out very slow with third party and eventually got great support. But a lot of it was older support. I'm talking day and date new support. And if we're able to achieve that from both Eastern publishers and Western publishers, it's going to be a whole new ball game. Really. I've seen people say that the Switch 1 can't possibly or the Switch 2 can't possibly be as successful as Switch 1. 
I think that's kind of crazy. I know the Switch 1 was a phenomenon, but I think the Switch 2 can equally be a phenomenon with better games, more support, cooler features, nicer form factor, and more awesome games. Zelda has only evolved and gotten better since on Switch. Mario has made some jumps, but I think the next one could be the biggest leap yet. Mario Kart doesn't even have an original Switch title, so couldn't we see this be even better? And the answer is yes. Maybe it won't sell as fast, but over time, could the Switch 2 be as awesome as Switch 1? I surely think so. But one thing I don't think is that the games are going to release on Fridays anymore. This is so beyond bizarre, and I just saw this come together because of the Luigi's Mansion 2 and because of the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door release dates. Also because of Endless Ocean Luminous, all three of which are on the Thursday. What the heck, Nintendo? What is going on? Nintendo games are supposed to come out on Fridays. Princess Peach Showtime is out later this week on a Friday. Nintendo games and many major releases come out on Fridays. For a long while, major video game releases, not Nintendo, came out on Tuesdays. Now everybody's using different days, and Nintendo actually used to use Sundays back in the Wii era. I don't know why they picked that, but then they shifted to Fridays, and now it looks like they're moving to Thursdays. I cannot tell you why or what this benefits or how this works out, but I can tell you that the next three announced Nintendo release dates after Peach Showtime, which would be entering the next fiscal year, fiscal year 2025, they're all coming out on Thursdays. So for some reason or another, Nintendo is shifting their plans and shifting their moves. Patterns be gone. So now patterns of the Direct, you can throw those out the window. They're changing the freaking day that the games come out. There absolutely can be an April Direct. But I tried to think of why they would do this. More time before the weekend, an extra chance to stock store shelves in case the shipment got delayed and couldn't come on Friday and they don't deliver on Saturdays. Something to do with the way banks work in Japan. I don't know. If you have any idea, let me know. I did think about how movie releases used to be like Friday at midnight, and now they all just kind of come out Thursday afternoon. So maybe since media is having like big Thursday evenings, like, oh, new movies drop Thursday evening, games will also come out Thursday. But I think this means that games will actually come out Wednesday late night, which is very bizarre in a random date. I know this doesn't actually affect the games themselves. It doesn't actually affect like, hey, Luigi's Mansion 2 is still Luigi's Mansion 2. Hey, Paper Mario is still Paper Mario, and doesn't matter what day we play it. Actually, we're getting to play these games now a day earlier, if you think about it. So it's actually a big benefit to us, 24 hours. I don't know why they're doing this, but I thought I'd point it out, and it's clearly something that's happening because it's three titles. If it was one, it would be weird. Two, maybe they're just a little off the rocker. Three, okay, this isn't about holidays or a strange shift. This is like now Thursdays are the day. So get ready for Nintendo Thursdays, aka Nintendo Wednesdays if you live in Japan or New Zealand or Australia. And uh, I guess for this one, enjoy Princess Peach Showtime, the last Friday release of the modern Nintendo era. But this is not the last Good Morning Mario of the modern era or any era. So I'll see y'all back here again tomorrow. Thanks so much for watching. Let me know your take in the comments down below. And until next time, everybody, stay safe, stay healthy, stay happy, stay positive out there. Love you lots. Switch Force out.